County tomorrow, the family of a 15 year old will honor her memory as they go into a third year of not knowing who struck and killed her while she was walking with some friends. Haley Smith was hit by a car on Kenton Morrison Road in St. Augustine back in November 2013. The vehicle that hit her apparently never stopped. Channel Four's Francesca Amaker is joining us live. Fram, her family says they're still hopeful that an arrest will happen someday. Yes, her mother, Jolie Manning, says that she has accepted reality, but she's definitely hopeful that the person who hit Haley three years ago still comes forward. It was three weeks before Haley Smith's sweet 16th birthday. Her mother, Jolie Manning, tells me her daughter was just walking home from Publix with some friends. It was just after 8.30 on a brisk night in November when tragedy struck. When they had got to the pole there, they had crossed over and was walking on the shoulder of the road. And... Uh, Soon after that, she was hit. Haley was rushed to the hospital where she died. Now, three years later, her mother says that enormous personality still lives on. Just full of life, um, the laugh. You know, she could brighten up a room and she made everybody feel like she was their best friend. But as this mother prepares to honor her child at this roadside memorial Thursday evening, the heartache and pain are still raw knowing the person who hit her kind-hearted and caring daughter never even stopped. It's different. Um, it, it's not something a parent should have to go through. And not knowing, knowing why. She says after speaking with detectives, they believe the person who struck Haley may have told one other person. She has a message for them both. I would just ask that they come forward. You know, we're not out for vengeance. Or we just want to understand why, how they could hit her and leave and be aware of the crime. She also wants to know why in an area so heavily walked, no safety measures have been put in place three years after her daughter's death. There's been no changes. There's been no lights added. There's the sidewalk still isn't finished. And, you know, and especially in St. John's County, we still have children being killed in hit and runs. And tomorrow, the friends and family of Haley Smith will be at the site where she was hit on Kenton Morrison Road. They plan to gather at 6.30 p.m. Someone will speak on uh, the family's behalf, and also they will be lighting candles, and everyone is invited. If you know anything about the person who hit and killed Haley Smith three years ago, you are urged to call the St. John's County Sheriff's Office. I'm live tonight, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station.